Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the Five Net Blitz on Lee Chess and I'll try to be as instructive as possible during the game, making sure that we understand all the lines and the flow of the game in a better format. Also, post the game, we'll do a quick analysis of the game and understand the computer lines as well or things we what, what we missed during the game and that can probably help us improve our games further. Before we start off the, with the game, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the videos that I'm posting up daily. So yeah, let's start off with the game. Got the black pieces, I'll play c65, Karokan defense. He takes, I take back. Bishop to f5. Probably pawn h6. Even g5, not a bad option at all. And now pawn to e6. Probably offer him bishop exchange. Which he denies, which we are okay with. Probably run knight to d7. He tries to pin the knight. We can just connect both the knights. So we're just doing normal development moves. He gets the knight. We try to kick the bishop away. Pawn to a6. So he has to take. He takes. We take back with the knight. He castles. Meanwhile, I think we would go with rook to c8. A good option. Rooks on the empty file. On the open file. This is semi open because he has a pawn, but yep, that works. He's trying to open up the f file for the attack. Now we have to find out some weaknesses in his structure and then attack accordingly. Uh, if I play pawn to f, I think he would capture and then he's pretty good. Um, let's see how this goes. You can capture on the knight. Yes, he does. I'll take back. Point is, if he now takes with the pawn, I can take back with his, the dark square bishop first, spoiling his pawn structure. Okay, he gives a check. Uh, what can we do? I think moving the king is a good option because... And let's move to the the place which is more secure, not less open. I think I can take on the bishop first. And now probably take on the pawn. I can take another pawn, but what's the threat? I don't think there's a threat as such, at least for now. Let's take on the pawn. The rook attacks the queen. I think queen should be fine. Here, I'm attacking his queen. I'm trying to create some pin over here. Can we exchange rooks? If we do, I think that should be fine again. He's trying to enter my territory. Oh, he lost the queen. Game over. Resign. Humble request. Yep, he does. All right. Yeah, so it was... A good game, I believe. I'll see the computer analysis to see if he would have, wouldn't have done the blunder. Then, and also I think probably yep, we are, we are good. Like nothing to be bothered about. We were pawn up, so I was trying to play on that advantage. Uh, before he aligns rook, okay, he had some good option because then he can take the pawn. Okay, let's start off quickly. Analyze the game. E4, C6, D5, the Karo can defends. He takes, I take back. And it's entered, B5. He 
plays d4, I develop the bishop on f5, he gets his damn square bishop on g5, so pawn h6, trying to make sure that it's removed straight away, and then g5, uh, taking the bishop back to g3, and now pawn to e6, trying to make sure that the development of the dark square bishop can be done either ways now. He plays a3 here, a passive move in the opening, I would say, because he's not developing the pieces. Um, I play bishop to d6, offering bishop exchange. He denies, plays knight to e5, centralizing his knight. I play knight to d7 here. Oh, yeah, he had a tactic there. He could have taken on the pawn, and after I take back the knight, my bishop is going, so he wins a pawn. So that could have been done, but either ways, uh, that's not... A game changer there, but he gets his bishop trying to pin the knight and win some peace over there. I play knight to f6. Okay, that was bad computer suggesting, but why? Because, okay, I played a3. He takes on with the bishop. If he takes with the knight, what's the threat? Oh, the bishop is hanging after I take with the knight. I am losing a piece. That was tricky. Yep, that was completely tricky. That could have lost the game. But he doesn't. He captures with the bishop because I was threatening his bishop that time. So, of course, he had some immediate threats. He captures with the bishop. I take back with the knight. And here, I just play rook to c8, trying to make sure that the pieces are aligned in a better way. He plays f4 here. I played f6. He takes on d7. I think there was some other move as well. Oh, queen is coming on the h file. That's kind. That's mate in three. Yeah, if I move the king, that's mate in one. Okay, so this was completely losing. I think luck favored me in this game completely. He takes on the knight. I take back. He now comes up with the queen, but it's I think too late. I just move the king, he takes on the pawn. I take the bishop first, he takes back. Then I take back on the g pawn. He tries to kick the bishop away. I take on the free pawn, which was lying. He gets the rook on f7. Queen to e8 with the idea that if he moves the rook, I can just capture on the queen. But that was probably losing because after he takes the pawn and I take the queen, he takes back. And he has won the pawn back, plus, uh, if you see, pawn structure is pretty bad for black here. Uh, plus, I have fixed his bad pawns as well by taking on the queen, which should not be the case. Yes, the bishop can come here and close the open file, but either, these two pawns are pretty strong. Uh, and I think it would be difficult to control from here on. Let's go back to the game where, of course, he aligns the rooks. And I play rook to... Uh, c7 now asking him to exchange because now if he exchanges we are pretty good uh, I take he takes back I take on the rook and now the pawn will also be guarded so that was the plan uh, that's why it's a Troy situation from here if we both play perfectly fine but here he played queen to g6 a blunder uh, that is because you are generally not aware of the bishop's reverse diagonal and that's what happened in the game i took on the queen and he designs so just be aware of the back diagonals of the bishop they are very tricky to be noticed i hope you liked the video there was something to be learned like that reverse diagonal of the bishop is very critical and yeah keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on interesting games that i play every day Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.